What up, squad? It's your homie Nelly Rod, you know what I'm saying? And today we got a little something different, bro. This is going to be the beginning of something special. Y'all fools ain't even ready for that. Y'all probably looking at me like, what you talking about, bro? Matter of fact, y'all already know what I'm talking about because y'all read the title. With that being said, this is season one, motherfucker. Season one of something special, epic coming, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm finna start my own podcast, bro. And it's gonna be called Wait For It, Dead Rod. Matter of fact, you already knew that because y'all seen the title. But yeah, it's gonna be called Dead Rod, bro. That's gonna be my podcast. That's my branding, trademark, everything. Dead Rod, bro. Dead Rod Season 1, Episode 1, the Dead Rod Podcast, bro. Y'all welcome, man. How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying, bro? And today, we got a... Look, bro, I stay in Texas. So I gotta... I feel like it's only right that the subject I speak about on this podcast... Would be this subject because I stay in Texas and that's the legalization of marijuana, bro. We need to have a speak talk about that, bro, for the simple fact that Texas, what you waiting for, bro? You know what I'm saying? Colorado legalized in 2014, New York legalized it last year, Cali's been legalized. I'm pretty sure the shit's legalized in fucking uh Oklahoma, Louisiana, Oregon, fucking I don't know, just it's like 13 states if I ain't tripping, or it might be more, I'm not really sure, but that shit's fucking crazy to me, how all these big states like Cali and New York, and because you know, like when you think those states, Texas is up there too, we're fucking Texas, you know what I'm saying, we up there with Cali and New York, I'm just being 100 shit, we got the Cowboys, and we're Texas, bro, what you talking about, you know what I'm saying, but with that being said, why the hell is marijuana not legal in Texas? Bro, you know you can still go to jail for six months for having one blunt on you, one gram of weed, bro, in Texas. That shit is crazy to me. And look, I'm not saying you about to go to jail if you get pulled over and they find a gram. Nine times out of ten, the cops not even tripping about that, you know what I'm saying? But when they do pull you over and they smell that weed in your car, they're going to run your record. They're going to see, oh, you had run-ins, now you going to jail. Unless you, if you have a clean record, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, since you've had run-ins before already, your shit ain't even clean no more. And the shit is, you ain't even doing nothing like scammers out here. you just minding your own business. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, my question is, why do y'all care if I want to smoke a blunt after work? If I want to smoke a blunt after school? You know what I'm saying? Or before going to school? Y'all get what I'm trying to say, bro? Like, what is the fucking... Why is the shit had to be legalized, bro? I mean... Illegal. Why is it illegal? You know what I'm saying? Texas. Shit, federally it's still illegal. So why the fuck don't y'all just make it federally legal, bro? When y'all know damn well. Let's keep it 100, bro. 2050, it's going to be legalized. All 50 states or 51 or 52. However the many fucking states there are, it's going to be legalized in all them motherfuckers, bro. With that being said, why the hell are y'all just like bullshitting it and doing it state by state by state just fucking pass the federal law and make it legal for everybody in the states you know what i'm saying like that shit's mind-blowing to me how motherfuckers still go to jail for a gram two grams of weed in texas while you got motherfuckers smoking ounces in fucking cali and nevada and shit like bro you know what i'm saying y'all really doing us wrong down here in texas bro but and look, if I were to tell y'all why it's still... Man, matter of fact, fuck that. I'm going to tell y'all why it's still illegal in Texas, bro. All you major cities. And when I talk major cities, bro, I'm talking Dallas, Austin, Houston, San Antonio, Corpus Christi. It's the major cities in Texas. You know what I'm saying? It's the cities you think about when you think about Texas. With that being said, look it up. Who, like... What's the majority of the population in these cities, bro? It's going to be the fucking minorities, bro. You know what I'm saying? My blacks and my Mexicans, my Hispanics, my Latinos. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's why it's still illegal, bro. I don't care what nobody tell me, bro. If these, if these cities were, were like the fucking swamps out here in Texas where the motherfuckers voted for T, T-R-U-M-P, you know what I'm saying? If you remember that, all the major cities... It was blue, but all the swamps in Texas, all them little country where the fucking rednecks and shit live, all that was red, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about the elections, bro. I'm not going to put out names, but y'all should know what I'm talking about. That. With that being said, though, back to the fucking point of this whole podcast, why is the shit still illegal? You know what I'm saying? Like... Alcohol's legal, bro. 
but weed's not. That shit blows my mind, bro. I've seen it firsthand, bro. You know what I'm saying? My father used to be an alcoholic. God bless his soul. He's gone like a whole decade without drinking now. God bless his soul, because the Lord knows addictions are hard. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, though, I've seen it firsthand how alcohol can destroy your family, bro. With that being said, we don't do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you off that tree, bro, you ain't about to be yelling at nobody. You ain't about to be tripping, trying to throw fights. Or, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be pissing yourself, stumbling over, bro. You off the weed. You chilling, bro. Nine times out of ten, you just want to be on the couch watching a movie or just minding your own business, chilling. You know what I'm saying? After a long day of work, because at the end of the day, I don't care medical, recreational. Nine times out of ten, most of us use the shit just to chill. Feel relaxed, you know what I'm saying? All the stress in the world, you gotta just feel relaxed, especially when you get to the crib, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my opinion, though, you know what I'm saying? That's the beauty of the YouTube, of the YouTube shit. This why I'm on YouTube, bro, because I could just speak my mind, you know what I'm saying? If people want to watch it, people can watch it. Nobody has to watch it, bro. I'm not here forcing you to watch my podcast. If you're still watching, I appreciate you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and leave a like. But with that being said, though, man, the marijuana business, though, let me tell y'all something, though, man. Like, you can have a full-on legalized business, like, in Colorado, and the fucking feds can still fuck your shit up. I'm not joking, bro. Like, they can still raid your shit. They can still take your money. And that shit's fucking crazy to me, bro. Because, look, man, one of my dreams is I want to own a dispensary. I feel like I know everybody fucking say shit like this but me i'm actually putting in the work you know what i'm saying like this is one of my dreams bro it's up there for me like this is a fucking goal you know what i'm saying i want to be in the cannabis industry bro i'm just being 100 i want to have my own strain bro you know how the rod strain straight in though you know that shit will knock you off your ass bro i promise you but look bro that's just crazy to me though how you got hard working motherfuckers out here making it a clean living now. Let's be 100. And the feds can still come. They can still pick all your shit up. Take your money. Destroy your store. Like, damn, bro. Where's the respect at? You know what I'm saying? When does this shit end, bro? When does this shit end? Just this whole negativity. This whole negative view on marijuana. When does this end, bro? When does it end? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But look, bro, another thing I want to talk about, too. Have y'all heard of the multiverse, bro? Have you heard of the multiverse? If you haven't heard about the multiverse, bro, go ahead and pause this video. Go on Google and search up the multiverse, bro. The multiverse, man. I was getting my shit edged up yesterday at the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? My barber told me, like, have you heard about the multiverse? And I seen a couple shit on Instagram. But I ain't really like go on Google and search it up, you know what I'm saying? It be like that sometimes. Don't judge me, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, though, my barber was pretty much telling me how the multiverse is pretty much the future coming, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, put it like this. You know how everybody be on, like, when they get home, everybody be on social media. I don't care who you are, bro. I don't care if you're 80. I don't care if you're 8. Nine times out of ten, eight-year-olds have TikTok nowadays anyways. I don't agree with that, but that's a talk for another day, you know what I'm saying? Because when I was eight, I didn't have shit. And I'm not even lying. I I had Hot Wheels, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I had when I was eight. I ain't have no fucking TikTok or none of this shit. But that shit, shit, it is what it is. Different generations, I guess. But that being said, though, the fucking social media, right? Everybody goes to social media. But you know how, I'll say seven seven people out of ten, they live a fake life on social media. You know what I'm saying? They try to be somebody they're not. They try to portray this image of themselves that they're not. They just try to make their life seem better than what it actually is on social media to try to impress other people. Which, if you really think about it, that whole mindset is fucking stupid. Because what are you trying to impress other people for, bro? Instead of actually staying humble, put your head down, and actually putting in the work, you want to be flaking on Instagram, acting like you're somebody you're not, acting like you're getting paid when you're really not, bro. But with that being said, though... That's pretty much what the multiverse is going to be. You know how everybody's on social media, like, trying to live a life they're not? That's pretty much what the multiverse is going to be. But instead, it's like, you know that PS4 headset where you can put that shit, like, on your face and you see the game and, like, you in the game? 
that's what the multiverse is gonna be, bro. Like you pretty much in this whole other like just verse, this whole other universe, you know what I'm saying? This it, and you pretty much living another life, bro, straight up. And that shit's like damn. You know what I'm saying? Like and then you got motherfuckers fucking Elon Musk making robots and shit and putting ships in motherfuckers' heads or whoever the fuck did that, but I mean damn bro, like you know, it's a crazy time to grow up in, bro. The early 2000s, bro. I'm born in 2003. I'm 18 years old. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, I grew up around technology. But technology, which well, maybe it was, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a first, like, I'm a first American in my family, if that makes sense. My family are illegal immigrants, bro. And I'm the first one, like, with papers and shit. So to my Latinos out there, shit, to anybody that's just like, a first generation in this fucking country, you know what I'm saying? The States, bro. You know what I'm talking about right now. Growing up, your parents worked hard, bro. They busted their ass off seven days a week just to get the bills paid with food and your stomach clothes on your back. So you didn't really have the iPads and the iPods, you know what I'm saying? You probably had you a Game Boy just like I did, you know what I'm saying? Playing FIFA 05, bro. But it's, I'm just being real right now. With that being said, though, the early 2000s were a crazy time to grow up in. For the simple fact that you just seen like technology was already here, you know what I'm saying? Like this whole ideal technology and computers were already here, bro. By the time I was born and growing up and shit, you know what I'm saying? I remember what's it called, but at the same time, technology like put it like this, bro. Technology in 2022 compared to technology in like 2012, like Jesus, bro. Like the fucking technology in the last decade has gone from like like oh yeah technology like yeah you know what i'm saying like we made it and now it's just like nah like now we on some movie shit cuz you know what i'm saying like now the the future is fucking here here bro fucking because the multiverse to me bro that shit sounds like the matrix and i'm just being a honey i don't know if that shit's gonna end good bro what y'all think bro because shit you know what i'm saying Shit, bro. Man, I love doing this shit, though, man. This is my first podcast, like, by myself, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be the first one I upload, bro. I've done other podcasts. I did one with my homie yesterday, Seti. I'll probably post that another day. But I feel like to kick off the podcast, like, my own podcast, the Dead Rod podcast, it has to be just me by myself. And it's not even me, like, just putting it this image out like, oh, I need to do this shit by myself, which I do. But with that being said, too, I feel like just because, look, man, a podcast with Sadie, that shit might come in the future with my homeboy, you know what I'm saying? With my other homeboy, bro. But with that being said, at the same time, I'm on this YouTube grind right now, bro. So I'm just finna fuck the middle, man, straight up. We're going to start to shit ourselves. This is the Dead Rod Podcast, bro. I hope y'all been enjoying watching this shit so far. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like if you fuck with it, bro. And look, bro, go ahead and comment two more subjects that you want me to speak about in the future. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, I'm going to keep it a hundred. I can't even think of much shit to talk about. But at the same time, y'all know I always got something to say, bro. I'm always talking shit. And a wise man once said, it ain't talking shit if you ain't talking shit. Because what people consider talking shit, nine times out of ten, is just the truth. That wise man was me. I'm not even going to lie. I just said that shit right now. So what's up? Quote that shit. Quote that shit and put it. A little dash and put Nelly Rod said this on the Dead Rod podcast. You know what I'm saying? But nah, for real though, man. And let me tell y'all another thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stop caring what people think about you, bro. Stop giving a fuck what people think about you, bro. I don't care. I really don't because I don't know, man. Somebody's always going to have something to say about something, bro. Let's just keep it 100. No matter what you do, bro, you can literally meet God, bro, and somebody will still talk shit about that. Let's just keep it 100, bro. Like, people will always have shit to say about other people because they, and at the end of the day, they ain't even really trying to diss you. They just envy you, bro. They just mad you ain't where you, 
They're just mad that they ain't you, bro. You know what I'm saying? They just mad that they on the couch and can't get their ass off the couch while you over there putting in these long ass hours and grinding every single night, bro. And that's the shit I fuck with. So if you doing that shit, bro, right now, I'm speaking to you, bro. I'm speaking to my hustlers right now, bro. Shout out you, bro. I salute you, bro. Hats off to the hustlers out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Working every single day to try to make something out of themselves, bro. Just try to build a better life. That's the motherfuckers I'm talking to right now, bro. And that's the motherfuckers I want watching my videos, bro. And if you ain't one of them fools, but you feel like motivated by the words I'm telling you right now, bro, then you can be one of them fools. Keep watching my videos. You know what I'm saying? I always got some motivational, inspirational shit to say, bro. Because, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, I react to hip hop. Yeah, I make podcasts now, the Dead Rod Podcast. What season one, episode one, what's up with it? But at the end of the day, bro, I feel like when it comes to my reaction videos, a lot of people say like, "Oh, you just do reaction videos, bro." Yada yada yada. Nah, bro, my videos are so much more than that. You know what I'm saying? My videos are me giving my opinion, bro. And in my opinion, there's value in my opinion. See what I did there? But real shit, bro. I'm just. I'm just hoping I can motivate and inspire a few motherfuckers out there, bro. And I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? Because I see it a lot. A lot of people that have a lot of potential just hitting in them. And it's fucking... It's being contained, bro. Either because they don't know what's there yet. Either because they, they know what's there, but they're just too scared to actually follow their dreams. Or because they're being held back by something or someone. So, with that being said, if you feel like you're being held back from something, like an experience or some shit, bro, just... Just try to get over it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Meditate. Try to get over it, bro. Because you can't really move forward if you can't get over it. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to be able to move forward, bro. And at the end of the day, what you tripping about, B? You know what I'm saying? Stop doing all that overthinking, bro. Overthinking about, I should have said this. I should have done this. Man, why this happened to me? Bro, that's all in the past. And at the end of the day, the past is just a word, bro. The past is just a word. It's a definition. Shit that happened back then you know what i'm saying back then but face it bro back then don't exist tomorrow don't exist yesterday don't exist all that fucking exists is today bro so stop tripping about the past stop stressing about the future bro just focus your mind on what you can do today in the present moment bro time is valuable bro are you gonna keep on letting time fly by you or are you gonna fly by time bro you know what i'm saying make up your choice bro you want to be one of the bums still sitting on the couch still not doing shit or you want to make something out of yourself bro if you want to make something out of yourself go do it bro don't let nobody stop you don't let nobody hold you can't nobody tell you you can't do it if you let people tell you you can't do that then obviously you can't do that because you're letting them tell you that but otherwise if you tell them shit watch me motherfucker i bet i promise you no matter how long it takes bro i promise you bro repetition is the path to progression bro i promise you bro if you just keep on repeating the same shit over and over and over and over and over and over again bro you're bound you're just bound to have good ways coming your way bro because you're putting in the work you're putting in the time and i believe that whatever energy we put out there is going to be the same energy we consume with that being said if all you're doing every day is grinding hard working hard putting in long hours you know what i'm saying at the end of the day you finna get rewarded bro you best believe that it might not be tomorrow it might not be as soon as you want it to be, bro. Let's let's be 100. Because sometimes as humans, we can be a little stubborn. We we might want it now, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we just got to trust Mother Nature, bro. She knows what she's doing, bro. At the end of the day, we living in her world. This is her world. You know what I'm saying? It's our world through our perspective, if that makes sense. But this is her world, bro. She was the one who put us on this earth, you know what I'm saying? So another thing, bro, every thoughts that come to your head, bro, Mother Nature put that shit in your head, bro. So stop thinking you can't do that, bro. If you couldn't do that, that thought wouldn't have been in your head in the first place, you know what I'm saying? So if you wanna go rap, bro, go rap. If you wanna go back to school, go back to school. If you wanna be a YouTuber, hop in front of the camera, bro. If you wanna write books, go read. Go fucking write books, you know what I'm saying? Don't let shit stop you, bro. Don't let, oh, I don't got the equipment. Oh, I don't got this. I don't got that. Fuck that shit. If you want it, you're going to go get it straight up. You're going to find a way to make it work, bro. I wanted to start this YouTube shit. I didn't have a camera. I didn't have a mic. All I had was a phone and a fucking computer and a fucking drive. That's all I had. You know what I did? I got in front of this iPhone camera, started recording, went ahead and bought me a cheap-ass mic. And shit, I've been doing a little, a little sum, you know what I'm saying? It's all, 
It's all a fucking marathon, you know what I'm saying? It's a marathon at the end of the day. Rest in peace, Nip, bro. You just got to keep running them laps, bro. Because it's a journey, you know what I'm saying? This is your journey, bro. This is my journey. I can't, You can't look at other people and envy them for doing it quicker than you did because that's their journey. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is in this life shit for themselves. With that being said, we all achieve and underachieve shit at a different rate. You know what I'm saying? You can't compare yourself to somebody else because you're not them, bro. You're you. Just focus on you. You know what I'm saying? Don't be tripping that that they did it and used to over here working, bro. It is what it is. You can't do shit about it. Just keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Lord knows how many days that other fool was grinding before you even started. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, bro. Just keep grinding, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just keep grinding, bro. Keep pushing, bro. Nobody said this life shit would be fucking easy. You know what I'm saying? If life was easy, then shit, everybody would be fucking millionaires out here. Fuck that. Everybody would be billionaires. But this life shit ain't easy, bro. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. That shit will get you through the day. I promise you, bro. You will be all right. You will be okay, bro. You know what I'm saying? Remember six months, eight months, ten months back? When you thought it was over, when your ass was on the floor, and you thought you really couldn't get up, well, guess what, bro? Look at you now. You found a way. You found a way to get yourself up, bro, with nobody else's help. Nobody's. You found your, you found a way to get yourself up. You know what I'm saying? When it looked like it was over, bro. Look at you now, six months later, bro. So whatever you're going through today, bro, whether it be you got evicted, your girl broke up with you, your kid's sick, your car got fucking towed or whatever bro your car got crashed or whatever you're going through bro you're gonna be okay bro for every fucking dark night there's a brighter day you best believe that man y'all stay up peace